neighbor. I am Jeff Homestead Dad. Welcome to Homestead Hood. That is Prudence, my milk cow. And as you can maybe see, she has a necklace on. So this is her necklace. It allows me to clip her in when I need to milk her. See, it's really kind of loose. It just hangs so that if she were to get caught in something, it pulls off. If you watched yesterday's episode, you know that I can't find her previous necklace. This is a new one that I got. So it'll work. It's plenty loose, but it also allows me, like, if I need to pull her and go someplace, she doesn't like to be led places, but she will begrudgingly go if I grab her necklace and kind of say, come on, come with me. So uh, let's uh, let her out and get on to, with the rest of the chores. Somebody came out to help me with chores. I'm taking a break from a video you guys hopefully have seen earlier or maybe later about uh, canning jam, strawberry jam, because Aquaman came in and said, hey, there's chicks. So you guys know we separated off the lavenders. We've got lavender Orpingtons over here. We've separated them off and look down there, there's a little chick. How it got down there, I'm not sure because it would have had to come up from up here. Right? It didn't, they didn't, none of them laid from up there. So we've got to check and see in okay. here. There's another one, at least two that are probably happening. Okay, so we got to figure out what's going on and how we're going to do this. Uh, let me switch the camera around. One, okay, then. so she's off. Oh yeah, there's another one hatching right there. Oh, although it doesn't look like it's moving much. That's not wonderful. Oh, I know it's breathing, okay. Um, so we're going to see, there's a, another mama sitting over there. We'll see what she does with her eggs. But that chick got from here, out there, down to there. So it must have fallen. Um, well, it looks fine. And it's running around with this mama. But it's not gonna be able to get back up with her. So we're gonna let her eat and maybe get a drink. And then put her back up there. And hopefully she sits on the rest of these eggs and keeps that little fuzz ball safe and happy. We're gonna have to figure out, maybe we go get a dog crate and once they're done hatching, put her in there with them so that they're not falling off the ledge there. Finishing the day, the girls are back home with their daddy where they belong. Never leave your daddy ever again. I right? got first place. You neither. I got first place. Got first, we had a first place, a third place, and a first place down there. <laughs> Podium for all of them. Uh, we're just getting our ice cream. Uh, Is that right? Yeah. We got a soccer and ball. We got a soccer ball. So, life is good. Swim meet, you guys just saw the videotape. I wanted to tell you this guy. So, remember that video? How many likes did we need to get? Uh, 
One more. No, how many? Do, but how many total do we need to have? How many did I say? We need to get how many likes? I don't know. Remember I said 20? Yeah. We got 21. So guess what we're gonna do today? What? We're gonna pick up a pool. Yay! Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Here, look over here on the camera. Tell them how excited you are. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> the kids made me come back to the uh, flea market because Saturday is half off day. So, tell them what you got. Chair. Yeah. So he got this chair. Tell them how much it cost. No, it cost two dollars, but what's half of two? What did you give the lady? No, what did you give her? You gave her one dollar. So one dollar for this desk chair because he's going to be in kindergarten next year and he needs a desk chair to do work. And it was five dollars for this cast iron skillet. It was two dollars and fifty cents for this little mini cooler. I got these pint size or half pint size canning jars for twelve cents a piece. Um, no lids, but I have lids at home. And then I got, I get it out. I got a glass. Here, let me show you. Let's see. I got a glass pitcher like this, um, which is nice. They had some plastic ones, but I don't like the plastic. I got glass. And then when I was here the other day, did I, sh I showed you the uh, liquor glasses? Well, apparently I missed one of the cups because the last one in the matching set is uh, right down in here. Right down in there. See it? There it is. So it's the last one in the matching set. So now I have a set of four. He wanted to see. So the boys, the older boys, are still in there looking for more stuff. They found some more electronics for like 12 cents that they're gonna buy. Uh, I'm gonna go look at the outdoor tools again, but I uh, well, wanted to bring this stuff over because I couldn't carry anything else. So let's go look at what else we can find. Okay, on a second trip through, got a sweet Speedo swim bag that the little fellow wants to use. I got an anchor for two dollars got a wiring harness for 50 cents and then I got a uh, an oil pan I think this was a dollar so I'm gonna change the oil on the machines and then we got an, a radio for uh, a little fellow as well it was 50 cents so it doesn't work it works. Who cares? It's... he got a, another handheld radio it works for a quarter it... can't go wrong Half price day at the flea, flea market. We're heading home. Well, we just got home from swim and uh, got goats out. There's a goat hanging out. She just walked right back in, no problem. She's still getting out, they're getting out at the same spot, but she's awfully big to get through there. I'll we'll see if this board stops them. We got it kind of tucked in behind this. I grab a couple cinder blocks and uh, set it against it to see if that'll help, but we'll see. In other news, our birds share very nicely. Hey guys, we are actually at my niece's birthday party at uh, a lake in mid Michigan. Um, but on the way up here, we stopped at Rural King and we got a pool. So, you guys, we had 23 likes last time I checked. I said if we got 20, we'd get a pool. It just so happened that Rural King was on the way and they had a pool on sale. So, it's I think it's a, a foot smaller in size than the one that we were replacing it with, but I think it's the same depth. It's 42 inches deep, I believe. I'm gonna say, but I'm pretty sure it's 42 inches deep. Uh, I don't know, yeah, 42 inches deep. The water will probably be like three feet deep, a little over three feet deep. But um, yeah, so we got a pool. We're heading home. We got our uh, some of our nephews with us as well. Hi. And then one over there with little cowboy. So we're loading everybody into the car. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, uh, second day of the vlog. <clears throat> so today we've got to go. We're going to mass. Um, then we're going over to my parents' house for lunch, and we're going to come home, try to get some grass cut, because you can see over here it's getting awfully long, getting the stringy shoots of whatever flowers those are. Um, I need to get my tomatoes um, caged up, and then I know the little fellow's going to want to get the pool set up. I don't know if we're going to have time to do that today. Um, Aquaman and Ray and Cowgirl have dive and swim practice later so they try to get or they're gonna get to that that might eat into my time for setting up the pool we'll see 
So let's go milk a cow. Some things of note that happened yesterday that I didn't get a chance to film. After the swim meet in the morning, but before going over to my niece's birthday party, I let the kids get the go-kart out. <clears throat> And I think they shredded the clutch. Um, I've still got to do a little bit of looking to see if it's something that can be repaired. But I'm pretty sure I need to, at the very least, get a new clutch for the go-kart. So that's going to be down and out for a while. Which is a bummer. The other thing that happened has to do with birds. And I think Aquaman said that there were four chicks so far that have hatched. So... Let's go take a look in the uh, the blue coop here. I don't know if you guys can see. One, two, let me pick them up here. Can you see them? There they are. Four chicks. Problem is, they took the long, hard fall from up here to down there. So. Four chicks is awesome. They all look like they're straight lavenders, which is even better. Um, that's the egg clutch that she was sitting on. I don't think any more of those are gonna hatch. We'll see if she sits on them. And then there's that mama right there who's sitting on a huge clutch of eggs. So we'll see if we get any more uh, chicks that way. guys uh lunch we had mexican it was great thanks for asking um ray and i are going to take some of these tomato cages that we have here and right up there and we're going to cage up all these tomatoes because they're starting to flop over and tomatoes are growing and i like tomatoes and i want as many as we can get so she's never done this before so i'm going to show her how to do it and we're going to get these caged up so yep gather it all together like that See, okay, so just so everyone knows, this should have been done a long time ago. This is my fault. So we're trying to do the best we can after the fact um, and not lose too many tomatoes. So we're trying to gather them up and push them through the middle of the cage. I'm gonna go over there and help her, sweetheart, and give her an extra pair of hands. Ask her what you can do to help. Okay, and we've got the weed fabric down here in the bottom, so we kind of have to poke it through to get it started. Give it a good shove, grab down low. Oh, and I've got horse flies all over me that are driving me mad. There you go, good job. Okay, that's fine, buddy. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay, so the girls are working on it, so see if you can push it down a little bit more, and then kind of make sure that the tomato is up through there as much as possible. Is it good? See if I don't know if you've pushed it down far enough for it to hold it. So try to yeah, yeah. See, it's not hold, uh, it's not strong enough. So hold each arm and kind of push it down and grab down low where you spiked it through and kind of push it down. There you go. There's aren't there aren't any t ripe ones yet. There you go. Now the back one. There you go. Just need to keep on working them one at a time. There you go. Okay, that's better. We can push it down more later if we need to. Okay, that's uh, another one down. So we've got four so far. We've got probably another six in this bed, and then some more in that bed over there. So we're going to keep after it. I've got to take her and her sister to dive. We got these all caged up. It was way overdue. I hope I didn't ruin the um, tomatoes. Say hi. hi. And I found the first ripe tomato. She found the first ripe tomato. Uh, I'm hoping I didn't wreck the tomato plants by trying to cage them now, but what are you going to do? I get to dive. See you later. So we just finished up a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend as well. I'm gonna hang this up. It's a uh, a light from Costco. It's battery powered. You par uh, charge it up with a USB, um, but it has its bug zapping. You can also just use it as a regular light. I'm gonna put it on low. It's supposed to last a really long time, but I'm gonna put it up here. See if I can hang it on there, maybe if that hook is big enough. I'm not sure that hook is big enough. Let's see if I can hook it into this little thing here. We'll try that, see if it works. And we'll see if we can zap a bunch of bugs and uh, have a whole bunch of mosquitoes on the ground right there at night. That'd be awesome. I'd love to just 
sit here and listen to the zap, 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 zap. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, your comments, you're watching the channel. Um, the Hoot Nanny's coming up. I'm going to be doing a, a video just on the Hoot Nanny here soon. But um, we've got some changes coming up on the homestead, I think. Probably in the not too distant future. Um, I think we're going to get rid of some animals, maybe add some animals. Um, but we're just going to try to simplify a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you see the goats are out there having fun. Cows are eating. Got some ducks. Life is good. Hope life is good where you're at. If you've gotten this far, thumbs up, like, bell notification, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. God bless you and your family. See you guys in the next video.